All right, with this week's announcement about the Milwaukee Wave, what does the future hold for the team? Lance Allen caught up with two key members of that team. It's a big hit. It, it really hurts. Shock still sinking in for head coach Giuliano Oliviero and marquee player Ian Bennett with the Milwaukee Wave not playing this season. I'm probably one of the most positive guys, but 2020, I'm, I'm having a difficult time finding anything positive right now. It hasn't been easy, um, you know, since, since last March. So, um, you know, it's kind of a double whammy. want to give my best to the fans and cross our fingers, say some prayers. We'll be back next season. Without a TV deal or major sponsors, the Wave needs to sell tickets in order to make it go. With all the rules and restrictions, so yeah, I, I feel bad for Mike because he's probably getting a lot of the abuse on, on social media. We need people at our games, you know, we, we rely on group sales. To me, uh, it's nobody's fault. The toughest thing for Ian Bennett, the Wave never got to defend their title, not this year when the pandemic halted play, and not next season, with the Wave unable to play. Lance, as you know, as an athlete, that is probably the toughest thing, period. Like, that's the frustrating part. Like, like I'm, the team's not going to be the same. Oliviero feels the Wave can be saved. Everything I'm hearing is that we're going to be back. This is a one-year thing. I came here as a young, immature 21-year-old back in 1995. Coach Tozer brought me in, and, and my family grew up with this uh, organization, with the Milwaukee Wave, and it's a part of our family. But Bennett knows this is the end for some. And the worst part, you're going to lose good people. Established in 1984, the longest-running indoor soccer team in North American history, it will be strange to not see them this fall. Lance Allen, TMJ4 News.